Where's the oxygen, man? You can blame it on the wall. So what is perfection? Funny campers, check it out. Ready to move again. We've had a couple of days here. Four, five, six, <laughs> last a week. Count. <laughs> last count. Good morning, lovely people. <laughs> yeah, so uh, time to move. Yeah. Quick tour of the campsite. This is uh, pretty close to ideal for us, I have to say. Yeah. And what do you mean by that? Uh, it's old school. Um, I'll show you around what that means. A lot of campers, uh, caravans parked here. It seems to be for the season. Yeah. I don't know, some of them look like they've been parked up for a very long time. Years. <laughs> up there is a supermarket, very simple shop. Um, milk, baguette, beer, toilet paper. Beer That's being it. the most important thing. There's a pool up there. Another section to camp over there, mostly for tents. Somebody else who's permanent. And it's old school in that I think it's a little bit run down. It's a very harsh statement, I know. It's early, I can get away with it. Uh, more the, to the point that I think it was set up quite a while ago. A number of decades. And they haven't really done the maintenance. So they do the basic stuff, cleaning out and all of that. The, the, the cleaning is very good, I'll, I'll commend them for that. The, but beyond that, it's looking a little very bit good. tired. Tired is the word. But, wait till we get down there. We are right touching the Pyrenees. And that means mountains, very high hills. But also it means lakes and dams. This one, I believe, is a hydroelectric dam. It's very deep. About five meters from the beach, you suddenly can't stand anymore. But look at that. Okay, I would park here too if I had this view. Look at that, man. That's still part of the camping there as well. And here, Speedboat Central. So what would you do, man? Look at this. Bring your boat down, park your caravan permanently, and spend your summers down here. And we saw that through northern Portugal as well, and on the plains of Spain, the level of the water, which is quite a lot lower than it should be. I'm guessing here it's about two or three meters, at least, if you can see on the other side of the uh, shoreline. And we've seen even worse, some dams have dried up completely, so stuff is happening. We did have a rainstorm here, which you will probably see in this little clip. Echo stuff, which is practically dry. So it's extreme these days, extremely hot and extreme rain, extreme weather, which is rather worryingly all of our fault. But you can always say it's our fault, but we didn't know any better, right? Now we know, now we can do something about it. Now it's up to us to make that change. We didn't know that before. We were all buying diesel cars, carrying on like we should, and we were in the consumer mindset which is uh, left over from maybe the 50s, 60s after the war. So you can blame it on the war. So here is a little surf shop over here. Surf shop. I think you can rent skis and go um, skiing, skiing, or paddleboarding, maybe windsurfing, kayaking. Nice little restaurant here, which gets frequented very well by the locals in the nearby town, uh, from the nearby town. So yeah, this is what I mean by old school. A lot of permanent residents and people like us. 
I managed to find the place. Boat parking essential around here. There's a small revolution blade. And yeah, these look quite uh, comfortable. On the weekend, it was packed here. It was heaving a lot of um, local Spanish people. And now during the week, quite quiet. People come for one night and they move on. And we just watch them come and go. I did this this morning. It's a pity there's no such thing as smell vision or maybe it's a good thing to go for it for you guys. My TV might melt. Ooh. It's right. It's right next to the barbecue. Can yeah. you believe that? that? That's a bit weird. But I figured out the. But I figured out the issue is that as soon as something touches the water, then the smell comes. If there's nothing moving the water, there's no problem. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, in a normal basin you have a, a U-trap thing. I don't know what they're called, but maybe it's something like that. Something as simple as that. So it's probably stop. a long drop. So much problems, but it's really, really, really smells so bad. But I survived it. So here's the main ablutions. Men and women. As I say, it's pretty well organized, but it's looking a little bit tired all of it, so yeah. So there it is, a quick tour of the camping. We're in a little village called, next to a village called Tremp, the base of the Pyrenees. French border is about 100 k's away, which we're heading to now. Uh, we've had a good time here. I think it's seven nights, which is um, not a record yet, but it's getting there. Yeah, it's been really good. I love, love, love being able to swim. I've swum every day. It's just been so amazing, like right out. And I did it quite a couple of times a day, so busy working, get hot and bothered. Maybe a colleague has like, go done something. To do. <laughs> get in the costume. Walk down to the uh, lake, have a nice swim, you come back, you're refreshed, clear head. That's a nice way to live and work. Why are we leaving? I know. So what is perfection? That's the question, always. This is our 25th, 30th camping in the last two or three months. We've seen it all. This gets pretty close. But then what are you looking for in a perf perfect campsite is a bit of shade. Somewhere to swim, not too many people around, possibly a pool, little supermarket to top up your beer, and a good 4G connection so we can actually do this stuff and pay for the bills and stuff. So in that respect, we're not too bad here. As I said, it's a little bit tired, but it's a pretty cool area. Um, people are really nice. And I would recommend it, thumbs up for me. Now let's go back to France, see what they've got to offer.
than 1720.8 meters above sea level and we worked for every inch of that poor little car man so i let it cool off a bit it seems to be seems to be the top of the uh, the pass absolutely spectacular man from trip it just starts and it just doesn't stop and it just goes on for about 40 k's huge massive this is like the alps on steroids man first time we're here that's why i'm so excited about it now we're looking towards france somewhere down there Let's see what we can find